Last year, you heard us talk about Palm, which led to many improvements across our products. Today, we are ready to announce our latest Palm model in production, Palm 2. Google's stock has soared the past couple of days, and that's due to its recent Google I.O. event, where the company proudly showed off how it would remain on top of the search industry and implement AI into every nook and cranny of its business. And one of these areas includes its large language model, Palm 2. A large language model, for those who don't know, is a deep learning algorithm that can recognize, summarize, translate, predict, and generate text and other content. It's a huge amount of data that powers the conversational chatbots we see today. For example, OpenAI's GPT LLM powers ChatGPT, and Google's Palm language model powers their Bard chatbot, and Palm stands for Pathways Language Model. On this episode of AI Focus, we'll take a look at their Palm 2 model, the improvement on their previous version, and see why it's so much different from the last. And stay till the end to see the magic notebook created by Palm's API that will change studying forever. Palm 2 builds on the previous model and work done by Google Brain and DeepMind, Google's dream team of AI researchers. More on them later. And the company claims Palm 2 can accomplish a variety of tasks while being easy to deploy. Not only this, but Palm 2 is being prepared to power 25 products and features while coming in many different sizes. The sizes are named Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. I'm glad Google decided to give them names. All these model numbers are starting to make me think I may be dyslexic. The Gecko model is very lightweight and can work on mobile devices even when offline. Google also informed us that Palm 2 is way better at logic and reasoning thanks to a huge amount of training in scientific and mathematical topics. It's also trained in multilingual text spanning over 100 languages. Palm 2 is also filled with coding capabilities designed to help developers everywhere. Take a look at this example where a user is working with someone in Seoul, Korea to debug a code. The user asks Palm 2 to fix a bug and help his colleague by adding comments in Korean to the code. So in response, Palm 2 recognizes the code is recursive, suggests a fix, and explains why this fix was chosen. And it also added comments in Korean as requested. Can ChatGPT do that? I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. Palm 2 by itself is cool enough, but Sundar Pichai, Google CEO, says that the language model really shines when fine-tuned by domain-specific knowledge. For example, Sec Palm 2 is a fine-tuned version of Palm 2 for security use cases. It uses AI to better detect malicious script and threats. Then there's MedPalm 2. This model is fine-tuned on medical knowledge, as you might have guessed, and achieved a 9-time reduction in inaccurate reasoning when compared to regular old Palm 2. And it's closing in on the performance of experts in the field when asked the same questions. MedPalm 2 is actually the first language model to perform an expert level on medical licensing exam study questions and is currently state-of-the-art. 50 points for Palm 2. Right now, Google is working on making the LLM be able to synthesize info from medical imaging like mammograms. Picture an AI helping radiologists interpret images and communicate the results. You can use Palm for developing apps too. Since March, Google's been running a private preview and there are developers who are already using Palm 2 for their applications. There's Chapter that generates stories by letting you choose your own adventure, changing bedtime stories forever. And then of course there's Wendy's who's using the Palm API to power a new chatbot to take customer orders. I did a video on that one as well earlier this week. And Palm 2 is now available in preview. Before we get into Gemini, the one model that can possibly take on GPT-5, I have to tell you about the dream team that makes all this possible. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. All this work is brought to you by Google DeepMind, which is the new combination of Google's brain research team and DeepMind in the UK. DeepMind is a brilliant independent research group that received a lot of funding from Google to continue their work and had usually been at odds with the Google brain team until OpenAI's progress forced them to learn to work together. And that might have been the best thing that could have ever happened to Google. Look at all the things Google Brain and DeepMind have accomplished in the field of AI while existing apart. This list includes the development of Transformers, which makes these language models even possible. That's right, even ChatGPT 
wouldn't exist without Google's innovation. Using Google's computational systems, the group will now build more innovations, including the next-gen foundation model, Gemini. Gemini is still in training but was created from scratch to be multimodal, highly efficient at tool and API integrations, and built to enable future innovations like memory and planning. The CEO says Gemini is already showing impressive, never-before-seen multimodal capabilities while in training. He also says once fine-tuned and extensively tested for safety, that Gemini will be available in various sizes, just like Palm 2. Gemini will most likely rival GPT-5 and be here before GPT-5 as well, since Sam Altman has stated that GPT-5 isn't in training. But with great power comes great responsibility. And our friendly neighborhood Google is inventing ways to make sure we know what's real and what's fake. One way is watermarking, which embeds info directly into content for users to see. And another method is metadata, which provides users with context for original files. Every single one of Google's images will have that metadata. But now, let's get into the magic notebook, powered by Palm's API, that will change how the world gathers information forever. Over the past few weeks, developers used the Palm 2 API to come up with an AI-first notebook called Project Tailwind, a user's notes and sources power Tailwind, creating an AI model that has expertise in the info you give it. It's been tested at Arizona State and the University of Oklahoma. Take a look at the live demo. Taking a computer science history class, I'll open up Tailwind and I can quickly see in Google Drive all my different notes and assignments and readings. I can insert them. And what'll happen when Tailwind loads up, as you can see, my different notes and articles on the side, here they are in the middle, and it instantly creates a study guide on the right to give me bearings. You can see it's pulling out key concepts and questions grounded in the materials that I've given it. Now, I can come over here and quickly change it to go across all the different sources and type something like create glossary for Hopper. And what's gonna happen behind the scenes is it'll automatically compile a glossary associated with all the different notes and articles relating to Grace Hopper, the computer science history pioneer. Look at this, Flowmatic, COBOL, Compiler, all created based on my notes. Now let's try one more. I'm gonna try something else called different viewpoints on Dynabook. So the Dynabook, this was a concept from Alan Kay. Again, Tailwind, going out, finding all the different things. You can see how quick it comes back, there it is. And what's interesting here is it's helping me think through the concept. So it's giving me different viewpoints. It was a visionary product. It was a missed opportunity. But my favorite part is it shows its work. You can see the citations here. When I hover over, here's something from my class notes. Here's something from an article the teacher assigned. It's all right here, grounded in my sources. Tailwind is helpful for anyone that needs to synthesize info, like writers researching an article or lawyers preparing for a case. It's essentially an AI grounded in your notes and what you've read. What do you think about Palm? Is it a worthy competitor to what GPT has going on? Why or why not? Let me know. In the meantime, take a look at Bard, the chatbot powered by Palm 2. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.